Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, I've got an ABS and a traction control light on, which from everything I've seen and read is an indication that you have a bad wheel speed sensor. So I picked up this OBD2 port Bluetooth reader off of Amazon. It's the iCar Pro. And I'll put a link in the description to this. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in and then show you what it does. Alright, so here's the OBD2 port. I'm just going to plug it in. Lights come on. And turn my key to the on position, but not start it. And then on my phone, I have this JSCAN app for Jeeps. And mine's a 2016 JK. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. I'm going to run an advanced scan. This, this app, you have to have a license for your vehicle. Um, when you first connect to it, it'll show you how to get a license. The license was $29, I think. But if you see here, I've got a C102A code, left wheel or left rear wheel speed comparative performance. I've also got U140B, implausible left rear wheel speed signal received. So that tells me that my left rear wheel speed sensor is no good. So now I'm gonna change out the wheel speed sensor. All right, so these are the rear wheel speed sensors for a JK. Bought them on Amazon. Um, it was $19.99, I think, for both of these. Where if you look at the local auto parts store, I checked and they wanted $29.99 for one. These had pretty good reviews, so I went ahead and ordered the two of them. And I had planned on going ahead and swapping out both of the rear ones. But I think since the right one's okay, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it for now. And just put the other one in my glove box and save it for another time as a backup. There's one bolt that bolts it in and then your wire connection. Of course, they have the standard Jeep with the red tab, safety tab that you have to, to get the wire out. And then the whole thing just slides out of the back side of the wheel. Slide the new one in, bolt it in, reconnect your wire, and that's it. So I'm going to crawl under the Jeep and show you how to do that. All right, so there's not a whole lot of light under here to be able to see it. This wire right here. A little connection. Got a tab. You have to release and then pull it off. And then there's a little bolt right there that holds this wheel speed sensor in. So I'm going to go ahead and See if I can't disconnect the wire. May not be able to do it by hand or with one hand.
got the new one in. That connector was a pain in the, you know what? <laughs> Trying to get that little red tab out and then you have to push down on the little black tab that's inside to get the thing off and then trying to get it back in there and get it to snap into place such a tight space it was just not easy but I got it in so hopefully uh, check the codes again and clear it and that'll be that'll be it all right guys so it's it's pretty dark now so I don't know how much of this you're gonna be able to see but As you can see, the lights are on still. Well, let's clear the codes and see what happens. Okay, so let's run a new scan. Are there? Let's clear them. Okay, so now the only code is lost communication with the radio. Let's start it. No lights. And I'm gonna drive it around the block and see how it does. I'll let you know if the codes come back. There you go, so I know the lighting's not real good. It's already dark and I'm using a GoPro trying to film my phone. So, but I just drove it through the neighborhood and I'm about, uh, the lights did not come back on. I'm about to scan it again. I got a lost communication with radio and a rear left turn control circuit high, which that, that basically means that my turn signal is hyper flashing because of my LED turn signals. Um, I believed it. I can't think of what it's called, but the little voltage regulator or whatever it is that keeps it from doing that has, has gone out on my led turn signal so that's something to fix for another day and then the only other one is the lost communication with the radio which is because i have an aftermarket radio in here so i think that should should do it i think we're good to go all right guys that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I know it's just kind of a topic that not many people are gonna be interested in, but I know some of the people that subscribe to my channel and follow have been here for some of my past Jeep videos doing updates and making improvements. And so I thought it might be useful. Um, 
overall it was a pretty easy fix other than that impossible to disconnect connector <laughs> um, one bolt and disconnect the connector the speed sensor slides right out slide the new one in put the bolt in to hold it in place and reconnect the connector and good to go I'll put a link to the uh, speed sensors I, I used came from Amazon and a link to the um, OBD2 Bluetooth reader and those will be affiliate links so if you buy them from my links it won't cost you anything else but it'll help me out just a little bit and then I'll also link to the JSCAN um, apps website and that will not be an affiliate link so but if you're interested in getting those the links will be there so you'll know what I used and how I diagnosed it and, but that's going to be it for this video thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment let me know how I'm doing and I'll see you next time